Hey everybody, it's a uh, Thursday afternoon uh, edition of Key Spear Reviews. Uh, had to work last night, which just as well. It was a it was an awful day. It was cold. It was rainy. It was windy. It was dank and dreary. Just an ugly, ugly day. So wouldn't have been able, probably wouldn't have been able to get out anyway. Uh, today's a whole much, much, much better. We got probably a yeah close to the fifties. Uh, Sun's mostly out. Uh, kind of a breezy day, but pretty nice, uh, especially for uh, for mid October. Uh, today I've been going to do one I've been sitting on for for quite a while. Uh, sort of got lost in the back of my beer fridge, and I saw it today and figured today might be a really good day to do it. Um, from a New Belgium com uh, company, uh, one of their uh, Lips of Face series. I'm going to do their Coco Mole. It just says uh, ale with cocoa and spices. Um, from the website, it says say, say hola to a spiced up ale full of cocoa and ancho, guajillo, chipotle peppers. Don't, but don't fear the heat because plenty of caramel and chocolate malts bring a smooth, complex flavor to our cocoa mole. Sense of cinnamon, when poured, will have you saying ole for mole. It says birth date, January 2012, so, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's all going on uh, two years old. Um, it says hops are target, uh, malts are pale, C80, chocolate, and dark chocolate. It says fruits and spice, cocoa, chili, cinnamon. 9% um, ABV. Uh, didn't I'll, I'll just put all the rest down below. Uh, I don't know the uh, the uh, IBUs on this. Just a plain New Belgian cap. So. Uh, Nothing special. I got a, I got one of those. Had a bunch of these, so a little bit of hiss. Uh, no smoke to speak of. Uh, let's get it poured. Hang on, I got to set something on my my notes here. Or they're gonna blow away. It it is a breezy day, that's for sure. Wow, I can smell that from here though. That's probably all I'll drink. It's a 500 mil bottle. It's uh, 9%. Uh, it's a hot beer. Hopefully it's a good spicy beer. Maybe maybe not as spicy as that Ghostface Killer, but uh, hopefully it's got a little spice to it. I imagine it probably does. Um, you know, I found these New Belgian Lips of Faith beers are sometimes kind of hit, hit or miss. Uh, sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're kind of meh. So... Anyway, what we got here is a, a clear brown, got some uh, ruby highlights, um, almost no head, just a just a thin uh, thin ring of a slightly off white uh, off white color around the edges of the glass. Looks like I might leave a little lacing though. Um, doesn't seem to be a ton of carbonation streaming up, but uh, let me get a nose on it. Okay, wow, I get the cinnamon right out front. Um, some nice spicy chilies, getting a little bit of uh, cocoa and uh, chocolate malt. Uh, maybe a hint of vanilla. Um, just with just with undertones of chili, though. It's not. Uh, it's not really prevalent for uh, for being brewed with chilies. That's for sure. At least not like. Uh, like that ghost face kill I did, so uh, let's let's get a taste on it. Oh wow, it starts out kind of sweet and sugary. You've got a lot of that, a uh, lot of that cinnamon. There's just a little heat heat at first, um, but not but not really a lot. Um, By the time it uh, gets to the back of your palate, um, the spices are uh, really, uh, really magnified. You're getting a lot of that, like I said, a lot of that uh, cinnamon, um, nutmeg, just a, just a bit of the, the chili, uh, chili flavor. Not, uh, it's definitely not a hot beer, that's for sure. There's heat there, but it's mostly the, the chili flavor, which, um, I kind of like um, 
maybe just on the finish there's maybe like a little uh, rum uh, rum raisin maybe caramel and sweet chocolate in there um, the cinnamon's there it's definitely assertive but um, it's uh, it's not overwhelming that's for sure um, it's a sweet beer but it's um, that's somewhat countered by the the chili heat and uh, some those uh, some slight maybe some slight dark fruits maybe like uh, like that rum raisin. Um, there's almost a, a smoky aspect to it, um, probably probably from the chipotle chilies, um, and a little bit a little bit of a vanilla undertone too. Um, Though I do notice after you swallow the heat, sort of uh, the heat, the chili heat, not the alcohol heat. Um, I'm not really getting any alcohol on it, um, but that uh, chili heat does kind of uh, build a little bit once you once you swallow. Um, it's a smooth beer, got a medium body, um, very little carbonation. I I see almost none streaming up there, and. Uh, you don't really get any tingling on the tongue or anything from uh, from uh, carbonation. Um, it is leaving a nice, uh, nice light, uh, light lacing down the glass. So, uh, wow! Um, I tell you, as this sits in your mouth, um, the heat does come up quite a bit. It's still not overly hot, and it's still not what I call a really, uh, really hot, spicy beer, but. Uh, with the sweetness uh, from the cinnamon and the, the chocolate malts and everything, uh, mixed with that, uh, mixed with that chili flavor and chili heat, um, this is uh, so far seems to be uh, blended pretty well. So uh, let me sit. I will sip on this a while. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add any more. That's for sure. Uh, this will be a sipper because uh, the heat is building somewhat. So uh, I will be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been, oh, probably half an hour, maybe 40 minutes or so. Um, I've been having this just sitting out in the sun. Uh, the sun's got a little warmth yet, so, you know, for mid-October. Um, it, Like I said, it's a cool day. It's in the 50s. Might might get close to 60. I know it's supposed to get, according to the forecast, it's supposed to get uh, noticeably cooler. Um, and I'm not going to be able to do a lot more of these outdoor reviews. Um, uh, winter's coming, snow, ice, cold, wind. Plus, uh, these parks that I go to are uh, closing in a couple weeks for the season. They're, they're blocking the thing. If I want to hike in, maybe, like where I'm at right now, I'd probably be about a two-mile hike, and it starts up a long, long hill. So, probably won't be doing a lot of them out here in the winter. Especially when it gets snowy, but um, anyway, this is, uh, I'm really enjoying this beer. Um, as it's warmed up, I noticed the uh, the, the heat from, from the chilies uh, does come a little more apparent, but primarily it's the, the chili flavor. I mean, the, the sweet uh, from, the, from the cinnamon, and it is cinnamon forward. Um, they could almost call this a cinnamon beer. Um, mixed with, you know, the... The, the sweetness from the the cocoa that they added and the chocolate malts the chocolate flavors uh, cut chocolate cocoa flavors and the cinnamon mixed with this uh, the spice I'd call it a spicy beer not a hot beer I mean there there's there's a good deal of heat there but I'm not a you know I'm one that likes um, besides chili flavor I like the chili heat um, and that's chili with an eye um, I'm sure most of you know, but just in case some don't, um, if chili ends in an I, it means the pepper. If it ends in an E, uh, it means the soup. Um, that ghost race skill I had a, a couple weeks ago, I found a great use for it. Um, a bottle of that um, added to uh, chili with an E, a big pot of soup, is a really stellar addition. Um, I've never, I, I bought, bought another bottle and I couldn't finish it like I couldn't finish the first one, but uh, unlike that beer, um, there's not a ton. There's some heat on this, but not a ton of heat. Um, but if you're not a fan of uh, spicy beers, um, 
you know, I'd say skip this one. But I'm really enjoying it. Um, the the cinnamon aspect is, like I said, really out front, but um, not overdone. It's it's getting close to being overdone. Uh, but this is a this is a decent drinkable beer. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. It's not one that I'm gonna I'm not gonna rush out and buy again. I probably can't since it was a one time brew almost two years ago. Uh, you can't even find it on the website. You have to Google it, and it'll take you to some of the uh, back pages slash archives of uh, New Belgium to find the description of it. But uh, you can't find it listed on their regular uh, uh, Lips of Faith series. But uh, darn good beer. Uh, I'm going to give the Coco Mole from New Belgium another one of their uh, Lips of Faith series. Um, I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 9 out of 10. Uh, really, really drinkable beer if you like, uh, like spicy beers, that's for sure. So, till next time everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. In this case, a cinnamon beer.